Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to send a smart form PDF as an email attachment and we started with the various steps for the same. We received the binary file of the smart form, whatever the five binary file we received, it was in X string format. Then second step, we converted that binary file from X string format to binary format, yes. And we use this particular function module to convert the file from X string format to binary format. Then after that, in this internal table, now we have the contents which we want to send through email. After that, we started with the send request process by using the method create underscore persistence persistent of this particular class. After that, we want to send the mail. We want to send the mail to external user also to SAP user also. So as a part of that, Firstly, we created the SAP user. I passed my SAP login ID and I got the object which is referring to this particular class. After that, after creating the SAP user, I added that user as a recipient. Now, same way, we will go for now external user. External user means outside SAP system. Whenever you want to send the mail to internet address, internet address means something at the rate gmail.com, something at the rate yahoo.com. So firstly, we will create the external user. And after that, same to same way, we will add that user also as a recipient. Now, we already discussed the classes. We created the SAP user by using this particular class. Now, we will create the external user by using this particular class. So, I will go for this particular class. And same to same, process will same to same rather than SAP user. Now I will create external user. Or we can say external email address or internet email address. If I will go to the methods, you can see we have so many methods here. And you can see we have a method create internet address. We will use this method. And again, this method is static method. It means I can call this method directly through this particular class. There is no need for the object. So how I will do this? Now I will simply go to pattern button. I will go to a map object patterns. Now I will give the name of the class. This is the class now. Once you go to F4 help, you will see the methods here. We want to go for which method? Create internet address. I will go for OK. You can see equal to and greater than symbol is coming. It means it is a static method. Now, here I will pass the email address to which email address, to which email address you want to create or email address which we want to send the mail. So I will simply, simply pass my email address. Now, we will go for receiving. How I can check the type of result? We did so many times same to same process. I will double click. You can see result is of this type. If I will double click, result 
is referring to this particular class itself. So what the result we are getting is a object object because object is always, always type ref to. So what we are getting in the result, we are getting the object of this particular class itself. So what I will do, I will simply, simply write hello underscore. This time I will write external user so that we can understand fully. I will declare this object. I will copy this class and I will declare the object. Data, hello underscore external user, type ref to class. I will check the syntax and activate it. Now we can understand in same to same way. Hello underscore external user is referring to this particular class. It means it is a object. Hello external user is same as that of this result. If we will go for result, result is referring to same to same class. And you can see both have same to same. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Now we created the address of the external user, external email address. Now we need to add that as a recipient because ultimately this class will play a vital role. CN underscore BCS, CL underscore BCS. We created the user. Now we need to add that user as a recipient. So how I will add that user as a recipient? Same to same way. If you go, we have previously, we simply, simply add the SAP user as a recipient. So I will copy the same to same code. Now, rather than SAP user as a recipient, now we need to add what external user as a recipient. You can call through pattern button also, no problem. It is totally your wish. And we call this method add underscore recipient through object. Why object? Because this method add underscore recipient is a instance method, instance method. If you see add underscore recipient is a instance method. So we call the method through the object. So what we did in this particular video so far, we use the method create internet address of this particular class to create the external user, then we simply, simply added that user as a recipient. It's not required. So I will remove this commented lines. I will remove this commented lines. So as a part of our, this email sending process, we simply, simply created the external user and we added that user as a recipient. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we created the external user by using the method create underscore internet address of this particular class as it was a static method. So we directly call through the class itself equal to and greater than arrow is coming. It means it is a static method. I pass the email address. We are creating this email address and we received the object object of this. And this object is referring to this particular class itself. After that, we simply, simply added this user as a recipient this object we passed here. In the next video, we will go for the further steps of this process. 
So that's it in this video. Thank you.